welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. I took the day off from my day job just to get a little extra time off and catch up on something. I'm walking to a coffee shop where I haven't been for a long time. My eyes are watering. <laughs> and try to get some work done over there. So sun shining. It's pretty bright actually. And uh, yeah, I need to write a newsletter. I've kind of skipped my newsletter the last three weeks. I tell you, I was kind of in a funk. So hopefully get back on track with that. And then I need to do my hair color later today. And yeah, just catch up on some things. And also, you know, take some time to relax, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see.
So I just got home from the library and I picked up a few books. I picked up The Artist Way by Julia Cameron, uh, so the original book, and then also picked up Living the Artist Way, which is, my understanding, it's the same as The Artist Way, it's just, it's in a course form, I don't know. Um, I've been really curious to try The Artist Way, even though I've also been very reluctant to try The Artist Way, because I feel like writing three pages in the morning, it's just, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna fit that through my morning routine. I'm not really a morning person, to be honest. And my day job starts at nine. So I usually get up about an hour, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes before my day job starts. And that gives me time to, of course, you know, get ready and stuff. But also I do a energy routine, a little bit of yoga. I do a little bit of meditation and write down what I'm grateful for and yeah so I think I would need to wake up probably 30 minutes earlier in order to fit that in my routine but it might be worth it so I've never read the books but I've heard a lot about them and in the recent month or like throughout last year there were a lot of other artists youtubers that were um, talking about the artist way or going through the process and it's very intriguing and I think journaling certainly is a way to channel and get insight so we'll see I report back after I've read uh, the books and hopefully also practiced what's in the book so that might take me a while let me know in the comments if you've ever read the artist way and if you've practiced the exercises in the book what you think of them and what maybe what benefits you got out of reading and practicing what's in the book. I would really love to know. I also picked up a couple books on botanical art. I picked up botanical art techniques, which I've borrowed before. It's a really good, very interesting book. And the botanical artist Learn to Draw and Paint Flowers in the style of Pierre-Joseph Redouté, uh, which I think he was a botanical artist, I wanna say in the 1800s. And um, yeah, I think it's, I like to revisit some of that and give me some ideas on how I can improve my technique, especially with colored pencils. And um, yeah, and then sometimes even just looking at the images, you know, gives me some inspiration on what to draw next. And then the last book I picked up is called, that's a very old book. It's called The Rainbow Book. And it's all about rainbows and I was actually looking for a book on colors and this came up and I was very intrigued by it and uh, there's a little bit of um, kind of the science of rainbows but also talks about kind of more the mystical aspect of rainbows so I was very interested in that um, yeah it's a really old book <laughs> but it should be kind of a fun read and yeah, sometimes I tend to pick up too many books at the same time and then I end up to have to return books before I'm done with them. Um, but that's okay. The Artist Way, I wanted to borrow it from the library before maybe investing in it uh, just to see, um, you know, what it's really about and if that's something I really want to invest time in, which I think would be very beneficial, but the jury is still out because I can't put too many things on my plate. I tend to do that. So, you know, I still have this full-time job, which actually this week has been pretty stressful and has taken a lot of my energy. Um, so I've been quite tired. I haven't filmed as much as I did the week prior to that, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm going to relax a little bit and then get back into drawing. I'm actually not really sure what I'm going to draw next. Maybe just doodle in my sketchbook.
It's a really nice Sunday morning. It's quiet, sunny. There's birds singing out my window. I love a slow morning like this. I've been, uh, I, so I drew my daily doodle and then I wrote what I'm grateful for. And I was just kind of daydreaming while drinking my coffee. Uh, I'm thinking today I'm going to start reading The Artist Way so I can start the exercises next week. And I don't have a lot of plan to be honest. Uh, this is kind of a low key <laughs> vlog. I do want to draw a little scene of a hummingbird feeding on wild roses. I think that would be really cute and I really want to start getting into more little scenes and just like a one-off uh, subject, if that makes sense. I still want to learn more on visual narrative and visual language. That's something I've been struggling with in my art practice. Because I think what's missing from my art is like a clear message. And so I still need to figure that out, basically. So maybe I'll think about that today, maybe write some things down. Um, yeah. So I'm going to start reading. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and watching this video this week. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, please comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!